Hey social media world, um, my name is Junior and uh, I think I have something fun and exciting, a special for a special group I'm part of. So let's roll that video and check out what it is. <laughs> yourself dancing and then you did the uh, the dab um i'm seriously hurt and i'm seriously sad so um if that's you it's okay i forgive you but just make better life choices am i right okay so if you haven't figured out what we're doing that's right we're doing i we're <laughs> most personalities i have no clue anyways by we're by we're i meant i'm doing a series for you, for you to worship drummers. If you are a worship drummer. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna just talk about the essentials of worship drumming. And today I'm gonna start off with, with purpose, preparation, and prayer. <laughs> perspiration? <laughs> Did I, I think I almost said perspiration, but I meant preparation. So anyways, purpose. So when I talk to a lot of worship drummers, a lot of them think that, hey, I'm just a volunteer. Let me put a little bit of insight on that and just tell you not to limit yourself or dilute yourself to a position of mediocrity, because I think that's what it does. Yeah. Here's the deal. Um, what you do matters. <laughs> just put it this way, just, just, just stick with me a bit. Put it this way. One of my favorite stories in the Bible is when Jehosh Jeho Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat is directed to send the singers in front of the line. So see what what they're doing is they're they're in a battle. Jehoshaphat is directed to hey, instead of sending your cavalry to the front line, I want you to send pretty much your worship leaders, your singers, your your drummers, your, your guitar players, your worship drummers. Send them out to the front line against these huge dudes. By the way, they're outnumbered. <laughs> I didn't get to that. They're outnumbered. What he's instructed to do is send his worship leaders, his worship drummers, to the front line to fight an enemy that has weapons of mass destruction. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. So sure enough, he, he does it. <laughs> he sends his worship leaders, his worship drummers, out to the front line. So what happens is they start worshiping and praising God and doing what they do, doing what worshipers do. And so what happens is, is they get confused and they pretty much just start demolishing themselves. They start killing themselves just from us worshiping. And Jehoshaphat's army didn't have to do anything <laughs> because, because the praise and the glory um, was given to God. And that worship on the earthly realm did something in the heavenly realm. When you say that you're just a you're just a volunteer, um, you're not just a volunteer. What you're actually doing is joining in with heaven. You're joining in with other worship drummers and musicians around the world at the same time. They're giving glory and praise to God. So just know your purpose. Your purpose is not defined by your status of volunteering, your status of this, your status of that, or your status of, oh, I, I'm not the best drummer. Who, I mean, whatever, who, who cares? I mean, you're giving glory to God while in the midst of your drumming. That to me is a purpose beyond, is the, it's the greatest honor. It's the greatest purpose, I think, is, is to usher people in to the presence of God. When you say, I'm just a volunteer, know that that, that holds a lot more weight than you're, than you're giving it. There's a lot of responsibility in that. So I, I, just, I just encourage you to, to come at it with a different mindset and know that you're joining in with heaven. You're joining in with, with people past, present, and future. You're joining in with people all around the world, giving praise and glory to God. Why? Because He is worthy, and He is worth it all. So keep that in mind.
Next, we're going to go with preparation. Preparation. So, a lot of times I get asked the question, okay, so... I'm a worship drummer, like, should I, should I, when I listen to the album, should I, should I play the part? Or, hey, I'm created, I'm a created being, so I want to be creative, I don't want to be a robot. Here, here's, what, here's what I would recommend. <laughs> here's what I recommend. Learn the album. <laughs> please, 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 please learn the album. And this is why. A lot of people have pretty much done the work for you. So they've already went in there and A, B different parts. So a lot of the parts that you've probably thought of, they probably thought of themselves and didn't pick that part for a reason. So that's another reason to probably play the album. Number two, I would say if you're gonna be creative and go to the creative route, make sure that you know the people you're going in and play for. That's probably a lot easier because you're probably playing for the same people week in, week, week out. But if you know that your worship leader or your music director is like, hey, you know, we're playing an album, I mean, it's all in respect, it's all in honor, <laughs> play the album. If you know you have liberty um, to be creative, then make sure that you're, you're not doing it on the spot. Practice your creativity. Spend time during the week saying, okay, so if we go here, I'm gonna play this groove. Or if, I, if we go here, I'm gonna play this groove. I wouldn't recommend showing up and just being like, oh, I'm just gonna wing it and wing creativity. Because that, I mean, yes, it might work, but it's 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 it could flutter too. So, so intentionally practice your creativity even before you get there. Another thing on on preparedness is 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 when you're learning the parts and when you're taking time to go into the uh, into the set or getting ready for for rehearsal. Pause. Actually, pause. Side note. If you, if you show up to rehearsal and you haven't rehearsed before you come to rehearsal, you're already behind the game. Please stop if you are. So what? So please rehearse before you get to rehearsal. Don't use rehearsal time to pretty much start learning your parts because don't be the person that slows down rehearsal going, hey, I don't know the parts or I don't know the music. Um, show up being somebody that, that is reliable. As a drummer, um, I'm just gonna say it, we're the backbone. Everything falls on us as far as the advancement of, of rehearsal. So if we're fumbling, even though everybody else knows their part, it's gonna sound terrible. It's gonna reflect bad on everybody else. If we know our stuff, it makes it a lot easier for everybody else to play their part and, and for it to sound, sound well. Also, when it comes to preparedness, uh, learn your stuff. I mean, I can't tell you how far bring prepared that will take you. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten to play other places because, because people have noticed my preparedness and, and how serious I took things. So take, take things super seriously. Um, like I said earlier, you're not just a volunteer. Treat it, treat it as the greatest honor that you possibly have. Um, so learn, learn the songs. Learn, um, learn in, in and outs. So another thing I do is I will actually go on like YouTube or try to find other recordings of different ways, either that worship leader, let's say you're playing with somebody that, that has stuff on YouTube, um, I'll go and see how, if they've done a song before, I'll go see how they've done it. Or if they if they don't have anything posted, um, I'll go and see tons of other ways um, people have done it. Like let's say I'll go see if Bethel's done it, um, I'll go see Bethel, if uh, Elevation's done I'll go check out Elevation. So um, I. So let's say we're doing Shout Out to God. Um, I know Bethel's done shout out, the version of Shout Out to God. Also, you have the original Hillsong version of Shout Out to God. Um, and I'll just YouTube Shout Out to God and see how many different ways people have done it. And um, I'll have those in my, in, 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 my, in my bag that I can pick out and say, oh, they, they did um, this chorus instead of, they stabbed the chorus instead of play, played it straight. So um, that's just one example I've done. So I was playing, um, my church radiant and uh, we did shout out to God um, and, and the thing is we did it a bit different than the album um, so so um, I was able to take something I was able to, to incorporate what I learned from Hillsong and the way Bethel does it Bethel does it a, a super cool way how they stab stuff but anyways I was supposed to I was able to merge those because I'd done research on the songs and I honestly brought something fresh and new to, to that song so um yeah, so research other videos of, of people that have done it. So yeah, know your part. Another thing I, I do is when I'm preparing for a song, I'll make a little like cheat sheet. So for example, the cheat sheet might have intro. The intro might be um, 
uh, a kick snare pattern. And then I'll say, okay, um, verse one is verse one is nothing. So if it's nothing, I'll just write nothing. I'm crazy enough where I'll even color code stuff. So like, so I'll put in like the fills where they need to go. I'll put in yeah. So I'm, I'm crazy. So another thing is creating a, a cheat sheet. Something that's gonna probably set you apart is bring something else to the table other than drumming. And whatever that looks like for you, um, figure it out. For but for me, that's creating tracks. That's creating supplemental um, process, process sequence loops or whatever. That's um, bringing an SPD pad and bringing in extra sounds. That's that's because I mean I mean that's that's how I can I can kind of set my, myself apart and and bring in something that's other than just my drumming. Um, and I tell you what, your, your worship leader would appreciate that. Not only are you prepared, but but you're but you're thinking out of the box and you're saying, hey, um, he like you, they can trust you to, to run tracks. If, if let's say let's say something happens and um, they throw in an extra song, they can trust you that you probably have a track already made. Or let's say if you play another instrument, for example, JJ Weeks drummer, um, the John Father. Um, Super awesome! I just saw them live. I think last, uh, last September, and he's just super versatile. Like he plays keys and he plays drums. Like bring something else to the table other than, than drums. It'll take you a lot farther. It'll get you a lot more places if if that's the route you want to go. Lastly, in preparation, I mean this this probably I don't know if this would go under preparation, but just enjoy being be somebody that people enjoy being around. Woo! That one was a tongue twister. Anyways, have fun while you're doing it. And here's here's another thing for preparation. Get there early. Get there as early as you need to. Um, I can sometimes be a gear diva where I'll bring in um, the cymbals, another snare, uh, a kick drum pedal. Sometimes I used to bring in uh, my own drum with a butt kicker on it and then wire it to like the... Uh, the inner system by splitting my audio. I don't do that anymore. But um it's nice though if you're not a butt kicker, you should get one. If you don't want to know what one is, um you should probably look it up. So um yeah get there early as much time as you need. So I sometimes will get there an hour and a half early. I know it sounds ridiculous but I do a lot of changing. Um, changing in of my symbols, auditioning snares, but honestly most of the time I'll probably use the house snare. Um, Tuning toms, tuning kit, tuning kick, even um, setting up and making sure I'm comfortable, and that's another thing in preparation. Make sure you're comfortable. If that means bringing your own gear, bring your own gear. But here's another tip on that: if you're using somebody else's kit, or if you're not the only drummer that plays on that kit, make sure, make sure, make sure you snap a photo. Um, before you before you set your stuff up. This is just an honor thing. This is just a respect thing for other drummers. So take a picture before you start setting up your drums and then set up your drums, do, do, do the set. And when you get done, pull up that picture that you took and then set everything back the way that you found it. It's just a respect thing. It's just an honor thing. Um, that, I mean, character goes a long way too when it comes to being a worship drummer. Last, 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 but not least, and it's prayer. <laughs> prayer, 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 prayer. I cannot say this enough. Prayer is the, man, it's last, but it's, it's, it's the most important thing. Prayer is, 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 ugh, man, I can't, so I can't even tell you how big this is. So um, make sure you're prayed up even during the week. So when you're prepping, make sure you're praying. Pray for the, the event. Make sure that you're in the you're in the correct mindset you need to be to, to drum. Make sure that you're you're in the right mindset to one hear from God, the, to to be directed by the Holy Spirit, to um to, to just drum with freedom um, and have joy. I do this till to this day. Like before I play, this, this is pretty much the prayer I pray. God, take my hands. God, take my feet. I pray that you'd give me joy as I play, and I pray God that you would give me and instill on me rhythms from heaven that I don't play what I want to play. I want to, I play what's directed from you. And the thought of rhythms from heaven is, is again, it comes from Jehoshaphat. Like whatever they were doing, it affected the spiritual realm and it caused the battle to end. So I think of my drumming as war drums. 
like to so think of I'm going in battle. Like you think of like the bugle corps, like in the old, like you see like Patriot, like the Patriot, the movie where they have the drums. I'm thinking of like my drums are like sledgehammers, right? Prayer <laughs> allows that to happen. Prayer is the backbone of that. When you're prayed up, I just think it just has a huge, deep, deep, deep impact. So this is my preparation stuff. Um, let me check really quick. Yeah. Don't be a flake. Um, be committed. Everybody likes being committed. So thanks for joining me this week. Um, I hope you learned a lot. Uh, in the comments and sections below, let me know what your thoughts on what I've shared. Let me know some topics. I think I already have topics I want to share, but let me know some, some topics that you would like to cover. And let's just have a nice discussion in the comment section and let me know what you think. I'm not going to do the whole subscribe. I don't even know where I'm going to post this. So it might be on YouTube, might be on a worship drummer page, might be on my personal Facebook page. But anyways, um, like it if you like it. Um, delete it if you don't like it. <laughs> anyways, I hope you found this helpful. And uh, God bless you guys. And I love you guys. Worship drummers, just know that you do have a purpose. And your purpose is huge. And um, keep on drumming for God. And keep on work drumming with sledgehammers. Amen? Amen. So have a great day, guys. I love you guys.